What up, what up, Winbush here. And today I wanna to show you guys how you can make a neon sign inside of Fortnite Creative using nothing but a still image. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, I have UEFN opened up right now. And I'm gonna come down here to my content drawer and I'm just gonna dock it into my layout here. So I have it always here and you can actually see I have a decal built from a previous tutorial. So make sure you check out that one if you wanna see how you can make next level decals. But for this tutorial, we're gonna make a neon sign. So I'm gonna go over to Windows Explorer and just click and drag this in here. And as you can see, I have this little image here. I'm gonna double click on it just so you can see. It's a PNG with an alpha channel. That's about it. Everything's just an outline, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna left click and drag this into UEF. I'm just gonna actually right click, make a new material. And I'm just gonna name this one Neon Sign. And then I'm gonna double click on it. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna actually take that image, the PNG, and just drag it into here. So I'm gonna left click on this, drag it into my material graph here. And now I'm gonna make this larger. So the first thing I wanna do is right here, where we have RGB, I wanna connect this to my emissive color, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna hold down M on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna left click, and that's gonna bring up a multiplier. So I'm gonna connect this multiplier to emissive color, and then right here under my texture RGB, I'm gonna connect this to the alpha, and then right here, I'm just gonna hold down the number one key on my keyboard while still holding down the number one, I'm gonna left click, and that's gonna bring up our value node here, in which I'm gonna connect this into the B slot like so. And you can see everything disappeared, but that's completely fine. We're gonna fix that here in a moment. Now, the next thing I wanna do is right here under my material node, make sure I have this clicked on. You can tell it's clicked cause it's highlighted yellow. And on the left-hand side under my details panel, if I scroll down here, you can actually see where it says blend mode and this is opaque. I'm actually gonna make it masked. And that's gonna allow us to bring up our opacity mask here in which right here, this A slot right here, this stands for alpha. I'm gonna left click, drag this under opacity mask. And now you can see everything came back. And actually right here, let me actually make this just a primitive plane so we can see what happens. So we have our little image here. We have an alpha channel, but it's not glowing. So that's why we made this property value node right here. Because if I come over here, the values, let me type in like 50. Now you can see we have a glowing image here and it looks like a neon sign. So this is gonna be the value of how much it's gonna be glowing here. So I'm just gonna stick with 50 for right now. I'm just gonna click on save. And once this is saved, I'm actually just gonna exit this out and I'm gonna attach it to this wall here. But first I'm gonna bring in a plane. So right here where we have quick add the project, I'm gonna left click on this, come down here to shapes. And I'm just gonna make a plane, drag this into my scene and I'm just gonna rotate this. So come down here to my details panel. Let's rotate it by like 90, somewhere around there. And right here where it says neon sign, our material, I'm going to left click, drag it onto here. And now you can see we have it. Let's make it a little bit larger, maybe like two, somewhere around there, maybe like 2.5. Let's see how big that is. Somewhere around there is pretty nice. So if I put this against the wall, you can actually see now it's glowing against the wall here. Now if I come to time of day, you know, if you scroll it up, you're going to have less of the neon effect. So if you make it like a nighttime scene, somewhere around here, you're rarely gonna start seeing the glow here. And you have a neon sign inside of your scene because it's not a 3D model, so there's no geometry. It's literally just a plane there. And that means you could take a lot of these signs and actually have them spread throughout your world and not really take a hit on your RAM or any of your playback performance. So we can see how powerful just a still image could be inside of UEFN. I just took a simple image, brought it in, made it emissive, and now it looks like we have a neon sign that we could populate our city or whatever you're building out there. And it's not gonna take a performance hit because this isn't a 3D model. So there's really only one vertice of geometry there that you're working with. So hopefully you found this tip helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's brand new. If you wanna learn more Unreal stuff, make sure you go to my other channel, which is youtube.com slash Jonathan Wimbush. And until next time, stay fresh, keep building, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.